<laughs> it works. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm recording on my camcorder, a Sony AX700, a new one. And that's okay because today we have a brand new opening, a brand new thing. Uh, I wanted to say that we, I'm using the gimbal, right? And it's not even connected and it's not even on. It's just uh, nicely balanced. I just finished balancing and, and I'm using it. See, it's good. Anyway, back to the main video. This is brand new toy. There you go. Box opening. So I'm going to show you all everything. All boxes sides and edges and everything what you want to see you might want to just experience like you really opening it yourself of course it's never going to be the same because i'm excited too let's go to the business cut this it looks like it's been opened before but it's kind of tiny tiny thing so let's move down that's kind of handy and stays there I'm gonna lock this it's very unsafe to play with this and ta-da first thing first manuals Why I say manuals? Because manuals are very important. A lot of people don't pay attention to manuals. But actually, you know what? If you don't read the manuals, you usually use more time, make mistakes, and then still read the manuals, which is kind of really not very wise. I wouldn't say stupid, but it's not very wise. That must be the binding plug, one Phillips, one flat, and the two Allen keys and hooks and loops I'm gonna leave it there <coughs> for the batteries hooks and loops ties this is a brand new device so created 11th 2021 I'm gonna try not to touch the table because table is connected to my uh, DJI gimbal which is not working it's working passive wow that's really oh that's okay that's here so you can see the technical data not very appealing what's good for me it's this idea 280 grams i don't like that i mean i like it but i don't like to uh, to be stopped and uh told by somebody oh are you flying over blah 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 i would like to put it on the 250 grams range by manipulating the batteries that's important thing of course and this is really 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 good should be easy for all basically everything you have doesn't matter what kind of radio spectrum radio you should be okay with it that's what we're gonna do later this is only box opening and manuals is a manuals but needs to be read there you go. Let's go to the box opening itself. Opa. So, you open this. Ta da! Nothing inside. Just one protector here. And one protector here, I guess. Right. So, you see how it comes from? I mean. Uh, comes from China you don't see how it comes from but you see how it we don't need this anymore okay let's get rid of that so okay I grab the middle point and just pull it out and that's it okay underneath there's nothing empty box okay whole video is done we're done don't look don't watch anymore <laughs> I'm joking this is really really nice helicopter I hope so 
comes with a plate holder spongy thing you don't need that anymore and this thing I'm gonna show very close now because every time I try my wife to make it nice she's kind of hesitating uh, that's fairly similar to every other helicopter except this helicopter has a little bit kind of if you look at, uh, at the body kind of body style it this looks like it's 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 taken from some bigger guy and put on top of this actually it looks a little bit sloppy but actually I like because see it's very easy to remove this thing let's put it down yeah very easy to remove this thing it's grommets and voila that's inside or guts of the helicopter that's the main thing that's the main reason main upgrade whoops sorry about the shivering so the motor is enormous is really big and it's direct drive it's direct drive that's very good because it drives everything look at listen to sound nothing <laughs> this is very 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 good good stuff so they changed the way how they put it the battery I grabbed this battery because I have it and it's um, it's 850 and they say 600 grams yeah why don't we just wait while we can let's put it down quickly stays there it's perfectly balanced <laughs> okay there you go zero put this guy here and this thing here around and how much is it 220 220 grams if you go with this battery I have this is only three cell I have which has a EC2 connectors it comes to how much 292 it's not bad 292 let's check with this maybe battery this is only two cell is it gonna be flying with the two cell I'm gonna try but not now when I finish setup and everything but just want to see like the way weight wise 249 so 249 so if I want to fly with 400 2s there is no way I'm, I'm in no luck because it's gonna be two cells will be 249 and three cells will be over 249 but it's just a little bit over 223 for the helicopter only right and whatever battery you choose it's up to you 69 or 25 26 25 grams come on maybe I'm gonna put this one 800 if it works with two it's only 46 and 258 still over yeah so it is what it is you cannot have more than maybe this one this one looks promising 800 254 that's nothing without this thing 265 that's only 15 grams over so basically there is no way you can do but there's no way you can you can do it with this guy here right zero to maintain that 250 gram ratio but that's okay actually I like the, the helicopter I like this because look at this this is really invention it's nothing new in the world in the RC uh, a radio controlled uh, heli uh, to have direct drive and the, the, the glider type and airplanes they have it from long long time ago right but in this this uh, this is first uh, horizon hobby I mean I should say uh, blade helicopter which has 
has this option of having a direct drive motor. Well, let's see the features of the motor. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be nice to look. I'm gonna do this slowly so you can read, so I don't have to check. And this is the tail. Tail is kind of, I don't know, I don't like it. Probably it's gonna perform nice. Perform, but uh, I, I don't like the tail because it doesn't look so... It looks like a toy. Like two pieces together, right? It's like... I know it is a toy, everything is toy, but I don't know. I don't know. And people say this is aluminum. I think it's pretty warm. I think it's carbon fiber. I like aluminum, but people like carbon fiber or whatever. It's stronger. I don't like when it breaks. I have nothing against carbon fiber. If it's uh, strong enough, but when it breaks and shatters, then it's not very healthy. Yeah, what can I show here? Yeah, that's the new flight control. Or flight controller, I should say. And these are two brand new guys. Metal Getriebe on German. See, you have the nice, very nice um, ball point style uh, servo links. And this is rather beefy too, plastic. Looks also kind of Spartan, kind of a strong plastic, right? Not in a, in a bad sense, but I mean, I cannot stop uh, <laughs> Touching it. I really like it. Listen to some. Oh, my fridge is there. But I. It's nothing. No gears, no nothing. So nothing's in. There is no way you're gonna break anything because there, is, there are no gears. Nothing. That's amazing. So I just hardly wait to finish the setup and uh, put this baby into air. Here in Canada, Today is the 24th, 25th, I think, May, and we still have like a kind of very, very cold weather. There you go, and this one it doesn't go that hard, but I just made it look really, actually, you know what? I didn't try it on the battery. Let's even, let's at least try the battery inside. So I'm gonna put it like this way because it goes right nicely inside whoops I touched the lens I want to show you how it is it gonna be touching it I don't know let's see that's the way how I do I don't like it because if you push it too much you're gonna be touching the the, the motor so that's that's what I don't like but it is what it is <coughs> You put it here and then you velcro strap it, make it tight, looks like a tight, and of course. So let's let's just see, can I put this together, baby? This is 3 cell 850 and they say 600, so let's put it like this and then try to put it together. Zing, zong. There we go, fits nicely inside, nothing is touching, a lot of room here. Actually, I know this is necessary, that floppiness and stuff, but honestly, I really don't like it. It's just getting on my nerves every time I go in. I, what I usually do, I just take out this guy here. Wow, sorry about that. And just tighten it but it's not gonna work because you need to have allen key there you go when you have allen key then you can do it and of course allen key is inside i grabbed everything except the allen key and uh, i'm gonna see it's constantly like moving i know it 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 needs to be like that but i just like to tighten it a little bit just a, a little bit see that's too much just a little bit, not even a quarter turn. See, that's good. This one is a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna make this one a little tighter too. See, it's gonna stay that way. 
and and it's nicer when you touch it I don't think see there is still floppiness here but it's nice at least now you can properly wind it that's the sound of the motor right running anyway and it's still flexible right it's not too tight I like it this way so how does it look looks good looks very good and it's a little bit nose heavy I guess but that's nothing if you put it down you can notice like if it touches a little bit front portion of the skip then you know it's nose heavy if you hold it like this but that's okay it doesn't look too bad and next video will be setting it up and flying and I expect because it's direct drive and it says it's uh, it's pretty agile but I've been watching the videos and it doesn't seem to have that much power like the uh, four cell one so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to ride it uh, on flight with three cells maybe even two cells okay maybe maybe two cells uh, actually it is made for three cells because it has a less uh, cell counts in the, <clears throat> in the battery so I expect to, ha to have less power too of course it's direct drive that's good but still we will see we will see how it looks like and how it flies okay stay tuned I will be back in a second I just want to find out where is the record button <laughs> see you in a bit hi everyone <laughs> selfie mode first official recording internal mic on uh, a DJI uh, Ronin S2 stabilizer let's go around just bear with me because I'm just trying to learn how to record with this thing I bought it I want to use it so yeah up is up okay so I want to record old batteries which I have for these new guy this new guy as you can see it's the this new helicopter infusion 180 for the comparison I put put them one side by side just to uh, to see how they look close to each other there you go I aligned the, the heads rotor heads I should say up so you can see the length and how they compare to each other right you see the the tail boom is longer but the, the clearance is much higher in uh, infusion 180 compared to fusion 180 but I like this uh, fusion 180 also because it's a classic it has a belt and everything what doesn't what this one doesn't of course and the body of this guy is um, the new guy it's it's bulkier so we can see here the all the necessary batteries I'm gonna try and I'm gonna weigh them for now I finished recording with this flying camera kind of now I'm gonna just go and record oh. <laughs> using it in my hands it's not bad I'm gonna stop recording and just switch to manual mode <laughs> okay 
continue to record on the gimbal but now I just put it on the on the table okay let's go down so down is down okay and then we're gonna measure some stuff Now it's, <laughs> yeah, yesterday I was trying to do this and recorded everything, but now it's even more. Now I'm gonna try to put the beefy battery, 850, and see how it fits. It's really nice, snuggly, and nothing is touching. See, I don't think anything is touching. And it's a little bit tail not tail but the head heavy and let's see how much is that if we put it on the scale how much this is 12 gram so 280 294 right and if you want to go with the beefiest what I have here is this guy here <laughs> this guy here which is see very snug fit but it still can fit of course it's gonna be a little bit more head heavy but that's about it how much you get it's a 301 so 300 grams so why I'm showing it this because I'm kind of I found these guys which I have from before and they are very good batteries and if you combine them with this adapter it's very very good option to just uh, use this guy plug it see plug it here and then you have voila you have your old battery which is still usable and you can use it with this display and when you put it here it's very very <laughs> funny fit but you can always like I, I put the velcro here and you can always like tuck it underneath this and then you can right you can additionally strap it with this like you should and look at that for sure it's not touching motor <laughs> and listen to the sound of this guy very nice very good okie dokie now we're gonna see how much is this let me put it down with adapter with everything and with the with the cabin it's 256 come on six grams if somebody makes a problem because I fly with six 256 gram uh, over six gram over 250 come on i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be worried about that and as you can see it's perfect fit look perfect balance it balances nicely clearance is enough this small thing here and it's very good of course cabin closes nicely no problem about it It. I just wanted to show you how with the different options you have this is this new play it's very very versatile of course it's not gonna be like this but I mean see it's perfect very versatile because it can take anywhere from this like the bigger see it attaches <laughs> really snug to the big guys like this you still can have it this is 800 with that said up is up I'm still learning <laughs> it's fun kind of kind of fun to play with it but that's it only one thing is left for me to show you flight right 
just lying I think you know just feeling like crazy all the time but I, I, I cannot stop looking at these guys yeah focuses here how these guys are spinning and how big is that how big is the motor right <laughs> that's amazing just love it let's fly the thing shall we finally let's fly the thing see that's I'm not really a fan of it but apparently it works good and you know what this is the basically uh, the helicopter which doesn't have friction no friction at all only friction you have is one two three four I guess underneath and one here bearing I hope ball bearing or just bearings and that's the only friction that this helicopter has no other friction see my battery is done so we can go and fly it I will have to wait for my wife to come to record me but anyway that's how does it look and it's nice and you have a whole variety of of battery choices but well, look at this guy come on who doesn't like this 180 let's listen to this a lot more friction a lot more friction let's open this guy just compression now look at that standard plenty of room for any kind but you have one two three four five six seven eight frictions all kind of frictions you have that of course the servo for the tail I put this thing because it's a kind of a ground oscillation is a, yeah. actually yeah ground oscillation is, is a high and when it touches the ground when I try to uh, fly and it bump, bumps like crazy that's why I put a piece of rubber here and it serves really good that's it that's 180 you get the full control of this thing right it's full pitch here not like another model that's kind of fake brushless steel this is the real deal this is a real action but anyway today video is about the, the young new guy who everybody can fly okay okay I get it let's get flying let's get to fly fly